Only in the game just to get my fatty. And need lazy, ain't got competition. It's me versus me, love key top game. Anyway, so before the video gets started, I want to say, man, shout out to y'all. Uh, it is the end of the year. I want to say, give a huge shout out to y'all and a thanks to y'all uh, for pretty much supporting me up until this point. We definitely got a lot more stuff and a lot more elevation to do next year. Uh, for those that do celebrate the holiday that it is that's coming up tomorrow, uh, if you consider the holiday, if you know the history, don't know the history, you know, for those that do celebrate it, salute to y'all. For those that don't celebrate it, salute to y'all as well, right? I know, you know, no, I ain't doing no judging on nobody. It dig. But anyways, it's just a big thanks to y'all. I'm super appreciative for y'all. Uh, Key Talk Society, Key Talk Mafia, Key Talk, you know, gang, all that. You know what I'm talking about? Anyways, we do got a lot more to cover. Yes, definitely. Uh, you know, Yayo will be home. It's end of the year, so a lot of stuff is happening next year. Uh, Go Yayo is coming home, I believe, like January the 24th. So that's like less than 30 days, I believe. Uh, he'll be home. Uh, and then, of course, you know, what we came to talk about today is the fact that Lil Uzi Vert. Now, this probably ain't a surprise coming from Lil Uzi Vert because a lot of people do say that they be being a little zesty uh, and, and dressing a little different. You know what I'm talking about? And when I say different, a little womanish. You know, you got that that one uh, footage of him or really a picture where he got on like that purple thing. I guess it's like little holes all in it and stuff like that. And he's kind of like, I don't know, bro. But anyways, Lil Uzi Vert has now came out and he pretty much said, man, listen, I'm retiring after this project and I'm going to go on to make women's clothes. So, you know, I would normally say like for a rapper that that wouldn't fall in line with a brand. But as far as how the world perceives and views Lil Uzi Vert now, uh, him going to make women's clothes isn't like a huge, big surprise to nobody. Uh, it's probably just like most of the time, you know, from the comments that I read, people are just like, oh, well, I can actually see this from him uh, based off pretty much how he is. Anyways, and that ain't to say nothing negative about Buddy unless, you know, talking about that's how you feel because everybody got the right to feel how they feel. Now, I'm going to read y'all what the report on him actually said. I'm talking about it pretty much said Lil Uzi Verse says a career change is inevitable. He's done feeling the pressure of making albums and feels a life uh, of and feels a life of creating women's clothes is the new calling. Now, this is what I'll say as well, right? A lot of these rappers want to quit making projects and go switch careers and, and get into other stuff, right? But a lot of these rappers are in contract, and I'm pretty sure who's in a contract as well. And they being in lifetime deal contracts, you know, talking about structured to where they ain't never leaving. So, you know, and, and with that being said, they got things with the side of their contracts. Like, okay, you have this show to go do, you have to go do this. And if you don't meet these obligations, then you can get sued, you know, talking about. So, do I believe that Buddy going to quit rapping? No. Do I believe he's going to have to rap for the rest of his life until he fulfill his contractual obligations? Yes. You know what I'm talking about? You ain't going nowhere until you get this contract done. That's pretty much probably what his label thinking when they see this. But it all could just be some type of marketing thing. You know, rappers do... All say all type of crazy stuff when they about to drop just to you know get in the media get uh you know people talking about him so it could just definitely be that but i don't think buddy gonna quit rapping at all i, I really i think he may wants to his heart may want to but that contract don't care about what your heart feels that contract cares about what you sign right anyways other than all that it does look like the sauce father sauce walker got recognition for who some people actually call the greatest rapper of all time i think the greatest rapper of all time is lil wayne no hands you know hands down no doubt about it but of course you have those that believe jay-z is the greatest rapper of all time now i believe jay-z is more than likely the greatest businessman rapper of all time like we're handling business but as far as raps and stuff like that i just gotta go with wayne you know, so i'm just a super wayne fan period right uh but anyway Anyways, Jay-Z, who is definitely an impeccable, huge, uh, you know, he even helped Wayne out with his taxes and stuff like that. So he, his voice is in hip hop is just like the biggest for all the rappers, right? He actually came out and actually said that Sauce Walker, you know what I'm talking about? He put Sauce Walker on his list of pretty much his favorite rappers of this year, the hardest songs that came out uh, this year. And he said one of them was by Sauce Walker, a song that he actually got with Conway. You can type in Sauce Walker and Conway the Machine and the song will pop up. He really broke the internet with that song. I ain't going to cap. When Sauce Walker released that song, he literally broke the internet with it. So I can definitely see why Jay-Z will be rocking with that. Ooh, hey, man, say, man, it's a kid that did, man, Sauce Walker the word, the pastor the Master, man, I was supposed to make this announcement yesterday, but it's a motherfucking celebration. Yeah, man, salute to my nigga Hov, man. Salute to Jay Z, Hov, Rock Nation. 
2023, number six, song of the year. Shout out to Dangerous Muff Danger, man. We made a classic. Shout out to my brother Conway. We made a classic, man. Shout out to my brother uh Swiss Beast, my uncle, my mentor, my mentor also as well, Swiss Beast. Thank you for all the times you've been playing my song. That exactly the same song in the, in the car with you and Jay-Z when y'all riding them jets and y'all in the Maybach trucks like good big boss players y'all is. I appreciate that every time you ever call me and y'all listen to my song and you can help me got back on the list again, man. Jay-Z, I appreciate all the years that you've helped contribute to my career because I'm independent, you know what I'm saying? I'm a street nigga. It's hard for me. I'm 10 years in the game independent, you know what I'm saying? So, it, these my Grammys, these my awards, and it's not a catchy song. It's a lyric, so it's lyrical. So, therefore, I am being recognized as one. And this is like the second time that Sauce Walker has actually made the end of the year list by Jay-Z and, you know, being number six this time. I believe sometime in like 2014 and now we're back and we're in 2023. I'm talking about about to be 2024 and Jay-Z's came out and gave Sauce his head and I gave him his, his flowers, his recognition. And, you know, that's important, especially that's big for Texas too. You know what I'm talking about? Sauce Walker definitely putting it on and putting it down the right way. Anyways, let me know some. Comment down below. Let me know what you think about this entire ordeal. I'm out.